over here with Rewind. Hey. And we are continuing Lucius Free today. D pad. There's a strange fortune telling device here. It might be some character to the Yeah, we already know that bit. Yeah. Characters. Preacher A. Cooper. With everyone gone, it's just me and him. Let's see if his god can help him now. Uh, I didn't. No. So many flashing things. The boat belongs to Ferguson. What he's fixing, I should find the correct parts. What did he need? Oil filters. Oil filters. Right. Where do we find oil filters? Like? Uh, he, uh, I guess at the petrol station. Oh, yeah. Are we trapped? No, we just need to run in here and we'll start talking. Apparently. Sorry about that. It scared me over there. I guess that might be a common problem for you, huh? Oh, I'm scaring people. Yeah, just a bit. Look, I need to head to the office. You're free to come along or just do whatever you feel like doing. However, I think we should figure out what our next objective is as soon as possible. So try to keep that in mind while you around the town. Yeah. To the bedroom. Hey, to clear, clear that was just a joke. I think we should make it. But so far, I think we're very much getting away with murder here. Let's not throw that away just yet. Can you feel that spill in your room before you leave? Once again, Lucius uses the literal power of hell to do chores. What should we wear today? Um, go classical? Yeah, let's go classic today. Yeah, let's go see if we can find uh, filters. say about our, about today's objective. The hospital is pictured with a scale. You should find evidence to fit the description. Right, so that's the thing at the... Uh, at, the, at, the at the town hall yeah. courthouse. Mm. Right, let's go to Jackson's 
surely there's a reason for us to pick all these up. Yeah. It has to be. Maybe there is, but I'm getting starting to get a feeling that like um, some of the collectibles in like Assassin's Creed. I keep Queen seeing this sentence all over the place. What does it mean? I must find out. Look, no, but please. So we need to go to Manor. Yeah. Entitled for the Lord. Is that a secret passage or show these Latin words to Jack. Lord. Oh, hmm? it's a password lock. We know, we, we know from that thing we found in the manor that, that you know, the, the Latin, what's it, the The book is titled Kill Them All. I like this book. Those are who are his. Kill them all, for the Lord knows who they are. It's not letting us do it because we haven't actually in game found the solution. So we have to go to Jack. something here doesn't really add up. I've tried contacting the hospital, but so far there has been no answer whatsoever. I had these papers saying the boy is staying there until March, and then I had these other papers that you gave me that say quite the opposite. The signatures are totally different, and I can't get any confirmation from the hospital. It's like the whole building has disappeared. So, when exactly did you leave the hospital? I don't quite understand 
how it took you two days to come here with the boy. Well, I took a small detour to go and see his father's grave. He really hadn't had a chance to see it yet. Where was that again? Ludlow? No, in Arlington. He was qualified for a burial in the National Cemetery there. Oh, right. Did you hear what happened at Ludlow? In Ludlow? No, why would I? They had a major crisis. A bunch of fires and a swarm of locusts. They had to call in the National Guard, and I heard there was a situation of some kind. A situation? What do you mean? I'm not sure what happened exactly, but they are suspecting that it was a terrorist attack of some sort. They found poison in the water supply and a bunch of other evidence that points towards something like that. Jesus. They ended up evacuating the whole town, and the word is that one of the buses used for the evacuation is missing. So it could be that the terrorists managed to escape with that and have hostages somewhere. Well, do they have any idea where? Nah. They are still looking for the bus. It's possible that it even came this way. If they don't find it soon, I'm sure they will extend the search here. Be ready to participate soon. We really don't have the manpower to conduct any searches, Lieutenant. I'm sure some of the town folk would gladly help. I'm going to ask the mayor to help us out with it. The mayor? The really mayor? Think he can get anything How dare the mayor? Yeah, I'm sure he can get us some reinforcements here. I already called the courthouse, but it seems he's scheduled for a camping trip. Once he gets back, I'll ask him. It sounded like a camping trip. Oh, it did sound like a camping trip. Hello there, Lucius. I'm okay, I think we're done here. How are you doing with the other case? Which one? The girl. Oh, yeah. There was a girl at the motel, but she didn't quite fit the description. I might check that again just to make sure after I'm done with some of this paperwork here. Okay, Jack, you do that. Okay, Jack, you do that. You do that, Jack. You do, you do that. that. You do that. Yeah, you do this thing here. Sooner or later, he's going to find out what happened. And then we'll be ready to spoil the stuff. Okay, Jack. 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 I remember your old house having quite a library there. Too bad it burned down. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know there is, however, something here that is of actual use. I'm going to tell you a little story, and I want you to listen very carefully. No. Once upon a time, there was this bearded man with glasses. He decided to create himself an ant farm. But instead of ants, he had all sorts of things that he made all by himself. He had lions, zebras, bears, and even actual ants. And he made them all by himself for his own amusement. Even after all those creations, he didn't feel like they could hold his interest. They just weren't smart enough to be interesting. So one day, he decided that he is going to make this creature that looks almost like him. This creature had wings, but no gender. And that's why he's so He careful. ended up making hundreds of them. And then he decided to give them personalities. They would all be uniquely interesting individuals. And for a while, he was happy with his creation. Until one of them decided to revolt against him. Oh. This oh. guy was called Lucifer. Lucy Boy was so fierce and determined that he managed to gather a great following among his brothers and all 
almost managed to overthrow the god glasses. The creation had become so powerful that a weapon had to be made to contain them. He created a small dagger. He used this dagger to cut the wings off all those who took their step against him and cast them down to the abyss. Devastated about the whole incident, he sort of gave up on us angels and decided to create something new and better. So he created man, and he told the remaining angels to protect the man from any danger. I guess he was talking about Lucifer and things along those lines. Be their guardians, he said. Well, it wasn't long before the bearded man met someone, and they got married and had a kid. They named this kid Jesus, but I always knew him as Jesse. So for some reason, he thought it would be a good idea to send this kid to Earth to spend some time with these creations he had. Long story short, Lucifer found out about this and used the very same dagger he was hurt with to kill the kid or something along those lines. I can't remember if he actually gave the dagger to someone else so they could use it or managed to talk one of the followers to double cross him somehow. I really don't remember. It's been like 2,000 years. years. Anyway, this dagger then fell into the hands of the humans and has been circulating somewhere over here ever since. After that, the bearded man has been pretty heartbroken and really hasn't been able to forgive the humans. There were dark ages and crusades and all sorts of horrible stuff. That's when he came up with this whole plan about the rapture. We, the Council of Angels, don't really agree with him. I think the human race deserves one more chance. And I'm sure we can convince him once he calms down and stops blaming them for his son's death. The thing is that Lucifer is also very excited about this and is doing everything in his power to fuel the anger. It's very still alive. Maybe all it's possible. <laughs> I think he has managed to manipulate the whole situation so that he can get his vengeance. So first, we would need to stop him. But there's only one thing that can hurt him in this world. The dagger. A very special weapon. I think you might know this weapon. And I think He's you not quite a big brother, he is. is. This weapon is the only thing that can destroy Lucifer. Ouch! I'll take it that you are not ready to process all of this yet. Just like your father. Always so hot-tempered. Well, we shall see if we can still change your mind. Maybe that detective of yours can help me persuade you. in Philately. Whatever 
that is. I guess we have to wipe away the papers of the teacher. What do we have here? Hmm, that's a sentence on a different language. Maybe Latin? You know what it says? Language. Oh, I see. He probably wanted to translate it for you. Well, honey, I'm sorry, but this school really doesn't have anything that advanced to help us translate it. Your old house used to have a marvelous library filled with books like okay. these. Too bad it burned down. Actually, I can tell you something. If I remember my Latin lessons correctly, the end means something like. Who are his? Qui sunt yes. Yes, something like that, I think. Sorry, honey, I can't help you more. Have you checked the church? There could be some Latin books there. Yep. Yeah. Come in! <laughs> Kill them all, for the Lord knows who are his. Those words. Kill them all. For the Lord knows who are Lord. It's full of dirt. Take the dirt. Looks like a wind chime. Okay, blow on the wind chime. Put dirt in the bowl. Water for that bowl and fire for the candles. Where do we get water from? Uh, and you have milk. Empty bowl. I should fill it with something. Milk. That's kind of like water. Only white and looks more like semen. <laughs> Especially given how it poured just then. Ooh, large doors. Why are we through the fire? Oh, we are so hard. It's mere dipstick. Hang out in his secret underground chamber. Oh, sorry, judge person. Look into his mind. We appear to be cosplaying as a member of the KKK. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? You will all be prosecuted for this. Help! 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 We were wearing the suit. Only the noose doesn't seem to be staying attached to his neck. It keeps passing through it. Stop judging! The 
this game's I'm old. Not, I'm judging the judge, and this game isn't that old. Isn't it? No, this is this one came out like a year or two back, I think. Oh, the scale is even. <laughs> Scale is even. Muffin was standing there, mm. and then she drove past, got scared because he was standing there, and drove off the cliff. Mm. We may need to go look further for this, unless you have any ideas. Okay, this seems like a good place to have a, have a, have a chapter end. Yep, have yep. another cut scene. Forget ending it. We're just going to go through cutscene after cutscene for the next two hours. Mm. <sighs> okay, now this seems like a good place to leave the episode. Yep. So, I'm Ruby. I'm Rewind. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.